All right, if you like to catch fish on a wacky rig and you want to learn how to catch more bass and waste less Senkos, then this video is for you. We all know that stick baits, Senkos, dingers, whatever you want to call them, are great fish catching baits. Heck, even Dade Dudley has almost made an entire career fish in the wacky rig and they plain catch fish. Love them, hate them, they definitely work. So let's talk about how we're going to improve your hookups and help you waste less worms. Whether it's an OG Senko or a Yum Dinger or any other brand bait, soft plastic stick worms just plain catch bass. Smallies, largemouth, spotted bass, it doesn't matter, they just work. But when you're wacky rigging your favorite worm, the one downside is it's typically like a one fish per bait deal. A lot of times the worm rips off, it goes flying in the air when you hook a fish, when you're fighting them, and it's you go through a ton of worms when the bite is good. A lot of you probably use O-rings. You've seen tools like this. Heck, I've even got one. This one's even rusted out though because I just don't use it anymore because I found a better way. I'm gonna show you the very best way to rig Senkos going forward and why it's so much better than the O-ring. This new rigging method will definitely help you catch and land more bass plus save you a ton of cash. A lot of times when you're watching fishing shows, videos, the pros on TV, you see them, they don't, they don't use anything. They just like hook it right in the worm, just like that. They throw it out. They burn through, like, sometimes they don't even get one fish per bait. But you know what? A lot of these pros are getting their worms for free or at a huge discount. They're getting case of these worms sent to them by their sponsors. So there is no incentive for them to not waste worms and just burn through them. But the weekend angler, you, the tournament angler, you have a budget. You don't have unlimited funds. You don't have unlimited worms. So this is going to help you. And plus, you're going to spend less time rigging and digging for worms in the bottom of your boat and in your compartments and spend more time catching fish. So even typically without an O-ring, these are like a one bait per fish per bass type of bait. With an O-ring, you know, sometimes maybe you can get two, maybe you can get three, right? You, you rig the row ring on there, you slide it on with a tool, that's great. It's on there. All right. And then the most popular way is to rig it, you know, just under the ring, right? Or a little bit through there. But the one thing I don't like about this is that I feel like sometimes I miss fish because when a fish comes up and eats the whole thing, it's pretty easy for this piece of worm to kind of get hung on the hook, right? That's definitely a risk this way that when that fish collapses on and you set the hook that that worm is going to get in the way of your hook set and that's not a good situation. You're really restricted on which way you can rig it with an O-ring. Plus, a lot of times with like a Senko or a soft bait, that ring rips right through your worm pretty easy. It's so thin it cuts right through it. With this little wacky shield tube and this arsenal pliers, you're gonna get probably three to five fish per bait, which is gonna save you a ton of money. Let's show you how we rig it. Most bags of these worms are anyway from five, six, seven bucks a piece. Uh, some are cheaper than others, but they all add up. Most of these worms are 50 to 75 cents a piece. So if you can get two, three fish per bait, you can save a bag or two of Senkos a day. This pliers will pay for it in just a very, very short amount of time. Now, let me show you how to use this system and how it's going to help you. All right. Now, this doesn't matter whether you're using a Maxent General, a Gambler Ace, a Senko, a Dinger. They all work the same way. I got my box here labeled Nico for Wacky Rigs. I got all my tubes, different sizes for different size worms. Got some Nico weights, things like that. Everything I need for rigging. Most commonly for most stick words, I'm going to use the 7 or 8 millimeter wacky band. Put it on the tool just like that and open it up. Slide your worm in. Get it centered on the bait. Slide it off just like that. You're ready to hook it a bunch of different ways. It doesn't really matter what style wacky worm hook you like, whether it's the round bed, wacky style with a weed guard, or for me, I like to use these Nico style O'Shaughnessy style hooks. They both work great. Either one will work with your bands. So if you like rigging parallel to the worm, you can still slide your hook under that band, but you're going to have a more secure, more area to spread, less likely to cut your worm. That's a good option. You can also come partly into it and come through the band like that. My favorite way is to come through the middle of the bait through both walls of the worm. This is the most secure, the strongest way, the most durable, and makes it last the longest. Plus, my hook point is sticking out, so when a fish comes up and eats it, more likely I'm going to get that fish hooked every time. Less likely that this worm is somehow going to wrap around and hook on the tip of that hook. 
And if you like weighted wacky worms or jig heads, it works just the same. You can use that same style hook. I've got another video on why and better ways to use this wacky rig. Check out that bass hack if you're interested in more weighted wacky hooks. All right, we talked about wacky rigs, but let's not sleep on Nico rigs. This is also where this bait really excels. Some of you may know about these worms, some of you may not. If you don't know, you're definitely gonna try these out. And for those that do know, don't get mad at me for showing everybody. If you haven't seen these fat Nico Daiwa worms before, there'll be a link down in the description below. Uh, but these are a deadly, deadly way for Nico rigging. Let's rig one up. All right, for these, I'm gonna rig this up. I'm actually gonna do this about one third of the way down. Slip this on this worm. It's got a unique shape to it. So I don't want the dead center. I'm usually gonna come about one third or two third up. I'm gonna grab uh, a Nico style weight, uh, Arsenal Fishing or many other. There's a lot of good options for this. There'll be links down in the description if you don't know what these weights are. Come in the tail of the worm. I'm gonna rig that up. I'm gonna push this nail in. Uh, a lot of times, eight ounce, three thirty seconds, really light where it's, it's gonna tail weight this. Then I'm gonna come in with my hook. In this scenario, you can either hook it parallel like this, or you can come in through the nail or and, and parallel. Um, this option gives you uh, a little bit better deflection coming through cover, but this is gonna drop down and then you're gonna kinda hop it and drag it. It's almost like a reverse shaky head. It's got a really unique action and these worms just really get bit on an eco style. You can use dingers and just about any other stick worms and a lot of other worms out there, but Nico rigging is a deadly, deadly, deadly technique if you haven't tried it. And these bands will help you get way more fish per bait. And when you got this weight in here flying around, even more likely that this worm is gonna fly off, so you're gonna save worms and weights with these tools. If you decide this tool is something that you want to check out from Arsenal Fishing, there's links down below in the description. And if you want to save money, you can use code HELLABASS15 to save 15%. Save yourself some money and support the channel. It's much appreciated. These bands can actually be used for a lot of different things and a lot of different rigging methods. I'll have a future video on how it can save you soft plastics, jigs, trailers, and many other things. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss bait video hacks like that in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it saves you some time. Hope it helps you catch more bass. Hopefully it saves you a bunch of money. I'd love to hear down below in the description what's your favorite wacky rig or Nico rig worm or bait. Leave it down below in the comments. If you want to continue to catch more big bass and suck less, make sure you watch one of these next two videos right here.